Balana and welcome back to my channel 5 Minute Economics where I teach economic concepts in a span of just 5 minutes. The topic for today is the insider outsider theory which is one very interesting macroeconomic topic. So in daily life guys we all have seen the insider outsider theory have also faced that insider and outsider feeling but you actually wouldn't know that it is a theory. And today, I'll, when I'll explain you this theory, you'll understand that, oh, this is the, what we've gone through in our life so many times. So yes, guys, stay tuned and watch out this video where I'll be explaining about what are insiders, what are outsiders, some wage disparity, advantages, disadvantages. So do watch the video till the very end. So yeah, let's get started. Also, guys, don't forget to like this video and do subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon if you haven't already, guys. And also follow me on my Instagram handle, Five minute economics for some very interesting content so now going ahead with explaining to you what exactly is it insider outsider theory or insider outsider model firstly let us know who discovered this model this model was discovered by Asar Lindbergh and Dennis Snower these are the two people who actually discovered this model and now we'll be understanding who are actually insiders and who are actually outsiders here, you know, in this model, it's nothing very uh, different from what the literal meaning of insider outsider is actually. So it's very easy for you to understand. So basically, guys, this theory is a theory of labor economics. Why? Because, you know, labor plays a very crucial role in this theory. We see that how firm behavior, national welfare, as well as wage negotiations are affected. Basically, wage negotiations are what, what we are going to be discussing are affected by a group of people who are in a more privileged position. Of course, we know that, you know, people who are in a more privileged position have a lot of power. Okay. And let's just see this simple uh, circular diagram which I've made. This green dot is a firm or a company. Let's take it a company or whatever. And this red line are the insiders. Okay. And the blue line are the outsiders. So for outsiders to come to the firm, to the green dot, they have to cross the insiders, isn't it? Those who are already working closely in the firm are insiders and they have a huge powerful position. So for outsiders to come into, in, into the firm, they have to cross insiders and insiders wouldn't want outsiders to come in the firm, isn't it? So this is basically actually what the theory is. So let's read what are insiders. Basically, they are bargainers over wages. They have power of bargaining higher wages. They are powerful people who have high wages. They are not interested in more people. As I just told you, they don't want the outsiders to come inside. They are very happy. They feel if these people, outsiders, are going to come inside, something or the other is going to happen with us. Our wage, wages are going to be reduced or maybe those people are better than us. They perform well and someday we will be thrown out. So they wouldn't want outside people to come inside. They are not interested in more people. They are in only interested in expanding their own wages. So they are very uh, people who are very selfish or people who are very you know smart, I would say, or they just want their own personal benefit, not the benefit of firm or the benefit of outsiders. So who can be they? They can be long-term employees who've been already working in a company. You know, starting se hum to company mein naye log aayenge, pata nahi kaisa rahega. We've seen this in our daily lives, right? Uh, union members or individuals who have a lot of connections. Are hamari to job aise lag gayi thi, to hamari security hai kyunki hamara to haat pe, hamare upar haat hai kisi aur ka. You know, like that. Those who have that power, they have that. They have maybe that experience also. They have that qualifications. Those people don't want this. You know, you see, um, people are very insecure and um, we've all seen this in our job life also. Maybe we've gone through that also, that even if you are a fresher and people who are very experienced, then you are insecure about you that, you know, what if this girl does better than me? You know, it happens and people are very scared. What if, you know, one day I'm thrown out because of her, because she is very dynamic. So people have that insecurity, even if they have that experience and qualification. So they are the insiders who don't like outsiders. Of course, we know that there is a high cost to replace the insiders. You know, like a firm or a company would also say that that cost is known as the labor turnover cost. You should know just the name of this. So basically what happens, you know, when we hire someone, we are spending a lot of time on HR. I believe, trust me, you know, I've been going through that. It's a tough process to hire the actual correct person. When you hire them, you have to make them sustain, you train them. And after a few years, if they go, it will be a huge loss. Again, we have to start from scratch and, you know, train those people, right? So that is 
वॉट लेबर टर्न ओवर कॉस्ट सो फर्म ऑल्सो थिंग्स ये जो लोग ऑलरेडी काम कर रहे हैं इनके बारे में यू नो इनको ही संभाल लो रैदर देन बाहर के लोगों को यू नो अगेन एंटरटेन करना वाई यू नो आर पेरेंट्स यू मस्ट हैव सीन दे हैव सर्वेंट्स वी हैव सर्वेंट्स एट होम वॉट ट्वेंटी ईयर्स ओल्ड फिफ्टीन ईयर्स ओल्ड टेन ईयर्स ओल्ड एंड समटाइम्स दे स्टार्ट बिकमिंग वेरी यू नो लाइक दे डू देर ओन मन मानी बिकॉज नाउ दे ओल्ड सर्वेंट्स बट आर पेरेंट्स स्टिल टॉलरेट दैम वाई बिकॉज वी वील वील बी लाइक अरे कोई नया आदमी आएगा ट्रस्ट वर्दी होगा नहीं होगा यू नो दैट वे सो The firm also is like that. They are they are like okay in insiders ki baat man lo rather than having someone from out. So outsiders are basically they face difficulty in assessing job opportunities. Why the difficulty is the insiders who don't let them in easily. They lack experience. Maybe they can lack experience or they have job security also weak job security and their qualifications might be low. That's why it's difficult for get for them to get in. So they have lower wages. They have poor working conditions. Unlike you know the insiders who are privileged. So let me take a classic example of Bollywood guys. Well, nepotism is a very commonly used word in our Bollywood. We all know you know for uh, Varun Dhawan to get into movies or for Alia Bhatt to get into movies wasn't difficult at all. They just got a movie because of course they have some strong connections with Bollywood. Their parents have it. Whereas anyone, for example, Kiara Adwani or someone who doesn't have a uh some known some family member you know in the industry like anushka sharma they had to obviously face now we know what they are but we don't know what they faced for these people who are the insiders that's why you know they they are lucky because they have that privilege so this is just one example when i was going through the story this example struck me if you can relate to it just comment in the comment section down below so i hope now you're clear with what insider outsider are Okay, guys. So quickly now, moving ahead to the advantages and disadvantages. They are basically what we've already discussed. So I'll just be briefly going through them. So advantages to the insiders are basically they enjoy higher wages, high bargaining power. They have some experience, and of course they have better working conditions and they have a lot of power. And uh, that is why you know the, these people are called insiders. Whereas outsiders on the sad end, they have difficulty to get jobs. They have less job security. lower wages just like the opposite of that insufficient qualifications maybe that's why it's more difficult for them to come in the company and of course less of opportunities because we have a huge barrier which are insiders so these are basically the advantages to the insiders and disadvantages to the outsiders so lastly guys moving ahead with wage disparity which is basically because of this insider outsider theory it shows that basically it leads to labor dynamics in two ways that is income inequality we know between insider and outsider and market segmentation because we have now demarcated the market into insiders and outsiders so here we see that there are of course barriers for entry for jobs at high paying jobs even if they get jobs they wouldn't get jobs which uh, actually they are qualified for because the insiders have already taken up that position difficult for them to get upward mobility you know even if they hired they are still at a pressure level they are at a trainee management trainees that way level because you know it's difficult for them to move up the ladder because the insiders are that strong in that uh, firm or a company okay so here they are saying let us take it as an example that you know for wage stability we have seen that many companies tend to lay off their workers okay uh, be it amazon be it google the biggest of the companies we've seen there has been a huge layoff they do that for stabilizing their own wages right and by laying off workers doesn't only mean that laying off in outsiders we are laying off insiders and outsiders both okay so what happens guys insiders who are now left because they have that high bargaining power outsiders don't have that so they say now since you've you know removed so many people you've thrown out you've sacked them out whatever you can call it so now give us more resources you know they are asked that you know allocate your resources to the existing workers who are now with you and they ask for that so insiders basically tend to push the wages even higher by doing that when there is a you know layoff of people so the layer of employees who were, were once basically you know in the economy uh, in the firm who now become like an outsider for them it is even difficult to find a job because now the wages have gone high now negotiations will change so are you understanding guys that how laying off changes the whole economic dynamics once insiders now become outsiders sometime you were an insider now you are an outsider for you to get a job is very difficult once you've been laid off so basically it is like a vicious circle you can call it you know once unemployment happens it is in unemployment it is difficult for uh, you know the wages to restore because wages have been risen now now outside those people who have been sacked for them it is even more difficult to get a job you know that basically leads to a recession we all know that right 
So basically this model highlights the vulnerability as well as the uncertainties that arise because of fluctuations in the employment and wage structures. So this is basically about inside outside the theory guys. I hope this video was useful for you. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next video pretty soon.